You know, it amazes me that like after 500 tutorials that just the ideas never seem to run out, especially when it comes to titles. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to take a collection of titles and turn it into like a three dimensional block that you can easily rotate around. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing awesome. So this is going to be a fun, quick tutorial. We're going to be able to take titles, turn them into 3D space and be able to create our own like block title where you can rotate in any direction that you want and easily hide and reveal titles. This is one of those cool, unique ideas that can help you display your titles uh, you know, in a different way. So let's jump into the tutorial, let's get started. And as always, you can download our project files for free if you wanna follow along with our tutorial and break things down. Now, this is what we'll be creating in this tutorial, this nice little three-dimensional block. Uh, it looks really nice and you're gonna be able to create different looks with it. So we have another uh, 3D uh, title here you know, with three different separate titles. So you'll be able to create pretty much any variation that you're looking to create with our techniques here. So move over to our tutorial composition and I have three blocks of titles here, okay? Uh, what we wanna do here is make sure that the anchor points are in the right spot and we have everything aligned correctly. So what we'll do is we'll grab our main title. This one right here is my main title uh, that we'll be working with that's gonna be the start of everything. What we wanna do is make sure that this main title is in the center of our composition. So you come here to the line tab and just turn this up. You don't see the line tab go up to window align. Okay, then we grab say our second title here, which will be one below. What we want to do is grab the pan behind tool, grab the anchor point, and just put it right there on the top. So when we put this in 3D space, it'll be a lot easier. We also want to make sure that the alignment is making sense here. So you see I have my main titled uh, right aligned. So I come here to the paragraph window and you see I have it uh, right aligned. And I can come here to my second title and that's right aligned as well and it's all matched up perfectly, right? So for my other title here, if we're putting something on the side or the other side, we need to rotate this. But first, let's grab the pan behind tool, grab that anchor point and put it there at the top. All right, then we hit R on our keyboard for rotation and we can rotate this by negative 90 degrees and then we'll just reposition this to the side. So you might have to play around with the sizing. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but you know, we have it pretty close where it needs to be. Uh, and I like that. So then all we have to do is make these 3D layers by clicking that 3D uh, layer icon, toggle switch to the modes until you see it. All right, then what we can do is grab say our bottom title here, hit R on keyboard for rotation, and we can grab say X rotation and set it to 90 degrees. And now it's completely put in 3D space, like underneath our main title, that's okay. Then we'll grab our, uh, our other side title here, we'll hit R on keyboard for rotation, and I'm guessing this is the Y value, so we'll set the Y value to negative 90 degrees. Now we have all of our titles going you know, side by side here in 3D space. That's great. So then what we need to do is go to Layer, New, Null Object. All right, and then we can grab all of our layers, parent it to Null Object, okay? And we'll hit R on keyboard for rotation. Make sure that Null Object is a 3D layer. We can then rotate this in 3D spaces by a little bit so we can kind of see how our titles are aligned here. So. We can make some small adjustments to our titles if we're not so happy with the positioning. So we can grab like our title here and we can move it up. But you want to be very careful. You don't want to just use your arrow keys. You just want to hit P and keyboard for position. And you want to use the right value here. So you can see if we want to move this title up, we need to come here to the Y value and then we can move it up. If we move it around in Z space, you know, it's going to go behind the title. So you got to be very careful because you can easily mess things up make sure you use the right uh coordinate here if you're happy with all the alignment you can go ahead and set all your rotations back down to zero really quick so we can get this started off so first thing we want to do is animate this entire title animation or we want to turn it into a title animation so we have our first title set on here really you know at the beginning here and we can add a keyframe for x and y rotation and then we can move forward maybe about like 12 frames or so and then we can kick in the y rotation and the X rotation. Then we can hit Shift P to bring up position and we'll go to the first keyframe here and we make sure we add a keyframe for position. We'll come here to our next set of keyframes and we can just reposition our title so it kind of stays where it needs to be at. So now we'll just have this basic animation. So we'll see our first title and then this will kind of rotate here um, and we can always perfect how we want that rotation to be. And if you want to add the extra Z rotation as well, you can add a keyframe for that. 
um, and just continue to play around and find the look that fits perfectly. All right, so now we have this basic rotation here and you know, it's okay. What we could do here is move forward here and we can continue to rotate this by a little bit. So we have a little extra uh, rotation going on. It turns in that, rotates a little bit more and we can set the Y rotation to zero and then bring the X rotation to negative 90 degrees and it'll only be facing this title here. So then we can read that one next. Just a little bit of a preview boom we see the sides and then we go to that one and this gives us an opportunity to just read this part first and then read the second part here and then if you have an optional title you know that can be a little extra or you know something simple as quick to read so obviously we're looking good animation is fine however we don't want to be able to see the additional titles on the side when we're straight on because we don't want to see this i don't want to see the side title and i more over here i don't want to see that top title or anything so this is all very easy to do so what we'll do is we'll find a specific point where we can hide the titles. What we'll do is our first set of keyframes here is I'll bring in the endpoint of our bottom title right here. So what happens is it comes here and it'll just kind of be very seamless, right? And right at this point where this title could be perfectly hidden, I will bring that endpoint in as well. Essentially what we're doing is we're gonna see that title and boom, it kind of just pops in there and it's very seamless. So no one uh, like notices that, right? So then what we can do is we want to be able to hide these additional titles here. So right at this point, when this goes vertical, we'll grab that side title and bring in that out point. Okay. So that goes away. And then right when we can perfectly hide the top title, we will bring in that out point as well. So this is a way you can think about hiding your titles as this thing animates. So now boom, main title sides, and now you can't see the top title. That's exactly how you should set this sort of thing up so it's easy to read and you're able to be very creative uh, with your animation of course toggle switch the modes and make sure you turn on motion blur for this sort of thing because it's so much more nice and as always one thing we can always do is grab our keyframes hit f9 on our keyboard to make them easy ease keyframes and now that looks really nice and of course you can give more time to people reading the title slow it down uh, and make it look great and to close off this tutorial, I want to give a huge shout out to our After Effects template packs. So this is our After Effects extension with 100 titles in here. We have several other packs as well. And what's great about this extension is we can preview every template that we have in here. And when you find a title that you like, you click apply. And it automatically applies your title animation with a click of a button. Then we go into that composition. We can easily change out our titles. And I can come into our control layer and easily update anything we need to. So if we need to expand the lines, we could do that. If we need to change colors or if we need to hide titles that we don't need, we can do that. And it keeps the entire animation still intact and everything will automatically update in your main composition. So we have this pack of 100 titles and we have several other packs like our motion graphics starter pack, which has 500 elements in it for motion graphics to titles animated backgrounds and shape transitions. So for example, I could apply a cluster of our motion graphics starter pack to help spruce up our title. So if you want to check out any of our packs off our website, I'll drop that link below. If you do pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. So that concludes our tutorial on creating these three dimensional title blocks where that you can easily rotate. As you can see, it's really easy to do and something that should be very fun to create. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.